I got up, I started running, he started shooting like like 10 times. He shot at least at least 10 times. And then I ran to the back of the classroom. I dived behind the desk and my teacher had got in front of me like he was guarding. Like it just keep replaying back in my head. I just thank God that I wasn't the one that got hit. You know, like in the midst of all of it happening, I was just thanking God because, you know, he had his hands around me. Covering this story for us, we'll get a quick update from him. Steve? Daniel, we just watched a white van go by with two police escort cars. It might be a body inside there. As far as the numbers go, right now it stands at four people killed, nine injured enough to be hospitalized with gunshot wounds, 30 injured totally. Some of those injured fleeing from the shooting. The shooter, a 14-year-old boy, a student here, is alive. He's in custody. He surrendered immediately. We are hearing stories from those who went through this shooting, including a 12th grader who tried to help his math teacher after watching him get shot. Mr. Aswan did have a gunshot wound to the bottom of his chest. Um, he was bleeding out. Uh, some other kids got up and they dragged his body inside and closed the door. After they dragged him in, uh, I started barricading the door with all the things I could find. Well, um, me and some other kids, we lifted up his shirt, see where the gunshot wound was, maybe try and stop it, put some pressure on it. The bleeding would not stop, so we kind of just stopped until the cops got there. He tried to help mm. with the shirt off his back. The sheriff here crazy, says bro. despite the it tragedy is. and the trauma that everyone is feeling right now, that love will prevail in this community. Here's the sheriff. I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over something that happened today, the pure evil that happened today. My heart hurts for our community, but I want to make it very clear that hate will not prevail in this county. I want that to be very clear and known. Love will prevail over what happened today. What are your thoughts about this right here? Another mm -hmm. one, Kane. Another one. It, it happens. Yeah. And we've seen this so many times. It's like we've, we've dealt with this over the past, I don't know how many years, bro. And well. It happens over and over and over. Well, one thing, what, so, you know, uh, condolences go out to, you know, the families of both the yeah. students and the uh, faculty that were uh, harmed in this. Um, what do you think went wrong and what do you think could be done? you know, to help this these type of situations from uh, alleviating these type of situations from happening? Kane, that's a big question. That's like the million, billion dollar question of because course, course, after this course. happens time and time again, yeah. that exact question is asked because you don't know where, you don't know when, yep. you don't know who. Yeah, It's not even, you could per se to say a demographic. We could say, okay, usually boys, usually males, mm -hmm. okay? You can say that. Now, nationality, we're not even sure anymore who will be doing these type of shootings. But I will say this. When we was watching that, and uh, Kern Gason, if you paid attention, now the kids these days that's growing up, they already having some type of survival skills. You heard that young mm. uh, teenager. Yeah. Hey, we, we, we pulled up his shirt. We found where the wounds at. We found uh, we tried to apply direct pressure. That's things you you learn in in some combat life saving skill, True. or if they was doing Boy Scouts, something like that. But now these kids just think about it. If you're in the South, we did tornado drills. You know, every school does a fire drill. Now you do active shooter drills. That's just a thing that's happening. It's becoming common. Time. It's, yes, it's becoming common now that we know it's been uh, it, it's a common thing here in America. Yes. What? And, and I know that, you know, I mean, the election and things of that nature is coming up and whatever. And there are issues because this is going to be brought up definitely with the um, debate and, you know, things of nature when it comes to decide and factor in November. But what? <sighs> What is what do you think that that people will think that needs to be done? They always say AR style weapons, right? They, I, I hear this all the time. 
right ar we style do. weapons a uh, and and for them to say it's an ar style weapon that mean it looks like it that don't mean it's an ar because you can have pistols that yeah. are ar style actually shoot it looks like, like 22s yes, yes yeah yes. yeah yeah exactly exactly so by telling the media that they're thinking that is an ar rifle yes when in all actuality it may be a pistol that's shaped like a uh, AR, you see what I'm saying? So, and, and that gets people kind of afraid or whatever. But it, you know what they're saying is, hey, let's just band them all together. But would that stop things like this from happening? Congregation, what y'all what y'all think about it? If we ban some these weapons, if we ban these weapons that are uh, utilized in a lot of these uh, shootings, um. Would that even help the whole situation? Now, mind you, I think, and I'll let you talk, Mitch. Okay. Mind yeah, you, yeah. mind you, what? And I think that a lot of a lot of times, they, you know, the the people that are actually taking the or utilizing these weapons, either one, they have taken it from someone else, like this child, this fourteen year old child took it from their parent. I'm pretty sure. They didn't say it specifically, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what it was or whatever. So they stole it. Uh, if there was somebody that got, you know, uh, off in the streets and they can't find the weapon or they found a weapon, but it's a ghost gun or something like that, it's stolen or it, it, it's not marked. So if we take away these weapons for ourselves, like me and you, Mitch, we're law abiding the citizens. Yes. And they say we can't have certain weapons and then the criminal criminals, they can have whatever because they don't follow the rules. Right. Is that is that still OK? Is that a good trade off? No, no, it's no. not. There's no and no, it's not. And people you got to and I jump in just really quick uh, when you just think logically. OK. We all should be for the Second Amendment, because just like Kane just said. The criminals, they get guns from anywhere and everywhere. They are armed. We do see videos now of people trying to kick in people's doors in broad daylight, and they have a weapon. Yep. So why not the law-abiding citizen having a weapon? Now, I will say this. Two parents that teach their kids the proper safe handling of guns, how to shoot, and things of that nature. Okay, in this instance, we know it's a 14-year-old kid. Maybe that kid's parent or parents taught that kid, you know, how to handle a weapon and going to the range and things of that nature. Yeah. The caveat, and I say the but, is if, and it's for parents that should know their kids, if you know your kid is going through something, that could be psychological. Talking about mental, because they already brought that up. This has to be something mental. Hmm. Then they shouldn't be allowed to have access to that weapon. If you see that, we, we saw that in Columbine, the parents didn't pay any attention to the kids. Parents, we have to know what our kids are doing. You won't know all the time, because we was all kids and we hid things. But when it comes to guns and gun safety, even the law abiding citizens have to abide by those rules. Your kids should not have the code to that gun, to the gun safe, if you think that kid has some type of mental issue. Well, a lot of times, you know, <laughs> just to be the devil's advocate. Oh, no, yeah, go ahead. You know, you know like, you know, as parents, as parents, a lot of times we don't even look at our own kids and think that they're doing any wrong. Kane, I was going to say, <laughs> if, if, if you're getting reports, your kid is acting this type of way in school. Uh -huh. And it's repeatedly every couple of weeks. Hey, they're doing something that's not in the normal behavior. Yeah. That is time. Well, well, well. Check this out, though. Check What's, up? Out. What's up? Check What's up? What's up? The 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 news on the streets is the FBI 
questioned the little boy and his father one year prior. Last mm. year, 2023, the, it, it, uh, this uh, guy, his name is what? Uh, Colt, Colt Gray. I think that's what yeah, his name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he had already been on their radar, and they questioned them. But they didn't have substantiated evidence to move any further. So that parent already got the heed from FBI. Come on. They already had it. That it wasn't no hearsay. It, this is what we found. We found it on the internet. It's criminating. And we want to, you know, see what's going on. But they didn't have enough to do anything. And what in a situation like that, do you fault the FBI for not doing anything or taking the weapons from the uh the parent because of the ideologies or whatever he's putting on the internet? Should that happen? Congregation, what y'all think? Mm. Do y'all think that, that that should have happened in this instance? And this probably would have never happened if they wouldn't he would have never had a gun. But I say Come on. If he really wanted to do anything, there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Well, well true and enough. And if he, he doesn't have to use dad's gun, you know, well, if he really wanted more... to do something. Yeah. I know it'd be harder. I know he yeah. have to find other people to do the right crowd or whatever. But however, if if it was supposed to happen or if something that he wanted to happen, it probably could. I know we could have lived, uh, 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 locked that dog on gun up. Kane, you know it should have hey, been locked up. Kane, but what, what you stated though, sir, I would say what you stated again, if the FBI came to you talking about your son mm -hmm. and you have weapons in the house, mm -hmm. those weapons might need to go somewhere else. They might need to go somewhere else. And you store them at one of your friend's house, homes or whatever, because that's clearly an indication of a sign, whether you knew it. How do you know how long to do that, though? Let's say he did move it to an undisclosed location. How long yeah. do you keep it, keep it there? Forever? Till the child uh, graduates? Kane, I can't even answer that question. Maybe with therapy, but my kid therapy. Would have to go to therapy. Yes. What's going on? Yeah, my kid would go. Well, into but how therapy. would you even think? So, so you were sending the child to therapy as soon as FBI came to you. He's like, oh, you're going to therapy. The reason I'm saying that because that's something that you didn't know clearly know anything about, probably. Probably. And probably. the kids, you know, we see so many of these type of incidents where. Mm -hmm. The kids may be so reclusive that the parents has no idea. Okay, Could but be. if you get some type of forewarning, oh yeah, we're gonna do try to do everything, anything, and everything that we can to get on this situation, to tackle it, or whatever, to get that person, that kid, to talk to somebody. Because we do know, usually, if the parent, if the kids won't talk to parents. Mm -hmm. It's another adult that they would talk to. Yeah. Do but what if, what, what if the talk? parent doesn't even have money for a therapist? Kane, it's up for that parent to see how they can make it happen. Well, but if they don't, it's they're like, well, I'll just talk to them myself. Out. I'll talk yeah, to them myself. Uh, what would you mean that ain't working? That Yeah, maybe they, it was a year ago. So maybe he changed mm -hmm. his ways a year ago. Yeah. Maybe he, he had to sit down, a heart to heart with dad, and hey, you don't do these things. The, this is right here is blah 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 blah, and they it probably was dormant all up into all the way up until now. Then yeah, what? Yeah. I mean, what if you think that you accomplished your goal, which is sitting down talking to your son about his actions and the repercussion of his actions? If you've done that and you haven't seen anything else that led up to it, then is the parents in the wrong? Do you convict no, the parents? Because no, no, I know we no. talked about and it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, well, you know, we saw something. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. saw a conviction. Yes. Uh, but in this aspect, you know, with the first part of the question, that would be just have to be an ongoing, continuous 
uh, conversation, continuous therapy, if that can be for afforded. Therapy? Uh, why? Why would you think that your child? Why would you think that your child would need therapy if you're talking to the child? Kane, but if that child, if that child is not letting it's you not know showing signs what, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we we see that, but it still needs to be continued. This is just going to be an ongoing situation, an ongoing continuous therapy because it's 14. They still developing, I get it. you know, the mind. So I even if it. they seem like they're good to go and the parent is usually the parent's not a therapist. I know, you know, I know. So, but, but if you think that you handled the business, I mean, we're just saying, saying if there was your son, Mitch, mm-hmm. and, and you found this out, you, you, your first thought is therapy or you first thought is sit him down talking to him. Oh, sit him down and talking to him. That's okay. the first thing we got to do. Yeah. So once you did that, and he's mm-hmm. like, Dad, I'm, I look, I, I, I was just angry, and that's why I lashed out on PS5 or whatever I said, right? Yeah. yeah Let's say yeah, that happened. Yeah, yeah. Then, and you haven't seen anything else, you've monitored this, you've checked text, me- text messages on TikTok, you've done all of it, you haven't seen any indication. Do you think you're, 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 the way that you talked to and y'all had that conversation did the trick? Or do you say, no matter what I say, you go on to therapy? Cause- well, I'm going to suggest if definitely if I can afford the therapy, I'm going to make yeah. it happen. We're going to yeah, talk probably. together. We're going to, yeah, I, I think so, yes. And then that's going to be a therapy that you're going, and, and then we're going to have all- some sessions together. We'll have some sessions together. Who cares about being together with the with the child or whatever? Yes. They they're gonna the thing is they're not gonna want you in there with the child only because they're gonna know that what? They are gonna say exactly what you wanna hear. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? So you saying I'm gonna go with you to therapy, it's not gonna be the, the, the child is not going to feel like, okay, now I'm opening up because dad's here. No, 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 no. Tell I know you that. Exactly. What, you know, I know what I'm saying. You know, you, you go a couple of sessions. The child, the child will go alone and then they, they should uh, usually a therapist. I don't really know what I'm saying. It's because of experience. Yeah. You go to the, 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 the therapist, uh, talks to the kid, you know, the child. And then, they have a session. Hey, let the uh, the, uh, child know that, Hey, now we're going to have a a session with the parent because this is going to be under observation. What they doing is observing how the child reacts with the parent there, how much communication is done, you know? So that, that, that's a basis of their evaluation. And they usually will let the parent know, you know, okay, this is what I saw. And they are, do they continue therapy with the uh, child? So, I would say I would talk to my child. My child would still go to therapists because if they said they they feel better and they are doing a little better, okay, we're going to do this. You're going to talk to a therapist too. And maybe then uh, will you introduce, you know, those weapons back into your home? Because we don't know what transpired. You know, they said 2023 was this a case of what happened? Was there weapons and things of that nature? All it still is up under, you know, more information I'll say yeah, needs to yeah, come yeah, out. We, we, don't, come we out. don't know. We we don't yeah, know. Right, 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 we right, right. We don't know if the, the uh, dad had weapons back then. Mm-hmm. He may not right. have had weapons, mm-hmm. but he, or a weapon. You know what I mean? He may not even had one. And then he, he, he acquired one between that from that point and up until now. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's so many variables that can come up, but, but you're saying, you know, the therapy is, you know, number one, you sit down and talk to him. Number two, and, and one and two are going to happen regardless. It's not one and one only, but one and two. Right. And right. Straight, right. 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 to therapy. Right. After I talk to you, you're going to therapy and you're going to talk to somebody about your feelings because this is yes. it's all about feelings. Yes. Thank you. you feelings. say that all the time. Yes. Yeah. That's the truth. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. believe that. Yes. So, so my, my conversation would w- would be no different from any other conversation about feelings because feelings is what draws people to do these actions. 
Right. Right. You feel a certain way, then you act on that feeling. You know what I mean? Right, right, well, right. who yeah. controlling this feeling? You should be able to control your own feelings, but you're letting somebody else control your feelings. And that's what this particular individual, he may have got bullied, things of that nature, or he may feel like maybe even the parent wasn't there, always working, trying to get the yes. bag, trying to do whatever and not paying attention to him. And maybe Man. that's what it was. It Insane. happens all the time. I don't care if they got both parents. You're right. If both You're parents right. are already gone all day long, and then they only come together at 5 p.m., come on now. Yes, that that's gospel. I believe that right there, 100%. Yeah, it can the happen thing. both ways. It, it can happen both yes. ways, even yes. if yes. you have both parents in the house. If you're not tending to that child, if you're not paying yeah. attention to that child, if you're yeah. not yeah. seeing the different as they grow and these different milestones that they accomplish, and you're not paying attention to what's happening. Come on. Come then, on. Yes, they can slide something like this on them. Yeah. And, yes, and, it can and, happen. Okay. And then this right here. And people usually, and I, I can say this, the kids that's growing up today from when we grew up, are they under more pressure when it comes to things of this nature? Well, so what are you what are you what are you asking when you say pressure? Pressure as in what? Pressure to to do what? You know, to to, to, to pass to, to survive. To survive is this an added pressure just to survive because we don't know. They don't know when the What's, next school shooting. What is, is causing? Be. What is caught? We got to look at the root line, the uh, bottom foundation of what's causing these shootings. I know a lot of people will say the guns are. It's causing. all different. Well, the guns different. are not causing it. It's a mental thing. The guns don't shoot themselves. Right. It takes a person to squeeze the trigger. So what is causing people to do this in a school setting? Well, we're just going to stick to the school setting. Um, what is causing the kids to go and to do these type of things? Congregation, what do y'all think? What, what do y'all think that's causing these um, kids to shoot up a school or whatever i mean i don't you know but but what is what why are they doing this i think if we can get to that versus anything else because they can have all the amenities they can have all the luxury yeah. they can have all of that but something is is they're lacking kane and i will say we always say communication for everything but that's going to go on the basis of parents and i have to put it on the parents because they're the ones that's raising these kids or supposed to be raising them and being involved you know trying to really be involved so in so their the lives to know what what's do you going want on them to do though what do you want these parents to do because some parents they only know what they know they right. may not they, the this is their point. first yes. go round right you know, this is their first teenager. What do they know to do with it? They ain't had a teenager before this time. Right. They but never had see, to deal with the, these emotions of a teenager. They always right. dealt with the little, you know, the the child in elementary school. And now they're growing up and things are changing. How does the parent adapt to this? Well, the, the parent was once a teenager. I, I know it's that. different things. It's, it's different. Different time. But it's a different time. But. If you can see, I mean, if you're communicating with your kid and you can see that your kid is not doing things normal, if they don't re recuse themselves almost from the world, they don't have any friends. They don't want to have any friends. I'm just giving you one of the, you know, scenarios. That's not, is, uh, is that a bad thing? And them, it's all morbid them? things. It's all morbid things. I'm just let's, let's say they do. Let's say that, let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. What you just mm -hmm. said. Let's say that they don't want friends. They don't like the way that kids are acting. That everybody's on TikTok. They tell you why. It's like no, I don't yes. like all that stuff. They they're always on TikTok. They're doing dances, and that's just not me. I'm not, I want to be my own self. I want to do my own thing, and I don't want to be a part of that. That and that's, that's fine, nothing though. wrong with that. that part, no, Kane, I know that part right there is fine. But just scenario of they done did all of that. They done said that. That's, that, that's totally fine. But to be absent from everything, 
the world. Let's just say absent from the world. They just go in their room. You don't know what's going on yeah. in their room. Yeah, they just come out. They might get food. And then, you know. What do you want them to, to do? Talk to, talk to the families that have these these people, these kids that are want to be recluse. And they give the excuse that yeah, I'm just not, I, I don't want to do the things that these other teenagers are doing. And they want to be in their room. They want to be in their room and they want to be alone. They want to play the PS5 or whatever. And they just, uh, whatever, right? They want to do that. And that part can be fine. But, but you want to still try to reach your kid, finding out what else is going on besides just the video games. Besides just the video, if they all just, if they only just have video games, don't want to do anything else but be in that room. Okay, you sit down and that's what you hear. Yeah. What 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 do that's you do it. next? You got to help these folks out, man. You got to well, dig deep into it. Like, how do you help a person that has a child right now? Right now, that's all they want to do is sit and play video games. Yes, they come out to eat. Yes, they come out to, to congregate when you tell them to come out and congregate with the family. But that's all they want to do every day. They they okay. do good in school. You ain't got nothing to worry about that. How do you deal with And that? that's good. If they do good in school and it's the only thing they want to do, hey, yeah. this time, okay, uh, I'll say my kid named Jason. Hey, I know you're just going in there. Everything's good. The grades, all that good stuff. Hey, this weekend, we're going to go somewhere. We're going to go. Uh, I got a little cabin. We going to Tennessee. I always hear about these cabins that everybody go. We're going to go fishing. We're going to do something different. We're going to see something different. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, a different communication will start between you two. It might be something. Get them out of that element. But we don't know if they're on the potential of doing something like we just seen. Okay. Well, what, well I, would, I would say yeah. the, the only reason what why would I you, brought that up. The only yeah. reason why I brought that up is because, and, and that's a good point that you made, go out and do different things, but you got to think about individuals that are working nine to fives and all of this. They're barely getting by. They're struggling, and they may not have the opportunity to do these trips or whatever. Mm -hmm. They may be able to. Yeah, they, they may be able to go down to the local lake and, and, and throw yeah, a rod in there. Or yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. I get that. They may be able to do that. But um, and you'll do it. You'll do it from time to time, once, twice a month or whatever. Yeah. But so. but other than that, you know, twenty eight days of the of the, of the uh, month, he's in front of that computer or that that game, and he's content and he's oh. doing exactly what you say. He's taking out the trash. He's cleaning up. He's doing exactly what you say. Kane, uh, one other thing is. I didn't like it, but I would do it from time to time, <laughs> my son. Hey, show me what's going on with this video game. There you go. Let me play yeah, with it. That's let, me, was, let, let me that's let me let me let me let me let me get into because that's get going them. into their world. Yes, that's going into their world. You bring you know? them into yours, and that would be and, my. You know, yeah, that, that's what I'm like talking about. Games. That's that's you exactly know? congregation. That's what I was trying to get at at this whole thing. I was just trying to say, you know, you have to come down to their level. And be able to do that, even though you can introduce them to new things they haven't been exposed to, but the things that they enjoy, enjoy it with them. Enjoy yeah. those things with them, and I guarantee they'll open up. Because once you start asking questions that they only know the answers, then they feel more empowered. You see what I'm saying? And then they'll open up a little bit more. And that the question is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and doing that, that really helps the child out. You know what I mean? And then they'll be able to talk to you about all different things or whatever. Even if you're on the uh, game system and you hear people talk crazy to them or whatever, whatever. I said, whoa, you listen to this all the time or whatever. You know, this is how they talk or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yeah. nothing. They, they get well. It's something. They get well. So yeah. now you know that what's going on and how they, you know, say different slurs or whatever on the, st on the uh, system or whatever. Right. And they think it's all in fun and games, but then you can kind of reel it on back and let them know you know yeah that's, that's how i see it as i see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I, I i know it was crazy and i know we kind of went real long with this one but yeah i know it's crazy this whole situation over in georgia and um i think uh the little high school that's in georgia but man uh we have to find a way to reach our kids 
and yes. reach, you know, even though ones that just graduated and all that, we have to be able to sit down and talk and to get down on their level. Treat them as their age and get down on their level. Because you, you a quick way to lose your child is to, to, to be that authoritative person and not being able to understand where they're coming from. And right. it, it sounds bad. He's like, man, I'm the, I'm the adult. I'm the, but I get well, it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's you the adult. You make an adult decisions, <laughs> but however, they are the, uh, the child and they are experiencing things in a different light than you have. And you want to know that light that they have been experiencing. So that's why I suggest in situations where you got a recluse child or somebody like that, or the typical stereotype that of these individuals that uh, do these type of heinous acts in, 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 um, in schools and things of that nature. So but what else you got for him, bro? Cause we can, well, yeah, we're going to shut it down on this topic, mm -hmm. but uh, you don't heard that old adage. Do as I say, mm -hmm. not as I do. Yeah. The kids well, no. these days, you, you say, do as I say, they ask you why, what's, what's going on? Hey, why, you know, yeah. and we, we, you know, old school, you know, you, you weren't asking your parents that no. you wasn't, but now we, they want to be explained. They yeah. want to know the benefits because, you know? and you the reason to be I'm a, a bad thing. Yeah. I, and I know mm -hmm. why they do that. I know why they do that. They do that, that because that? when you say do as I say, not as I do that, that, lets me know that you don't even practice what you preach come on that's exactly what that means so why is it that i have to do it just because you just said it but you living freely without doing it mm. so it seems as if i can do i cannot do it too and be okay just like you oh. so how about you just emulate what right looks like come how about on you do that how about you do that and then still be that authoritative parent and be able to, you know, let them know what they uh, should be doing. But you still, even though you're not speaking, but your action, you know, speaks right. louder than words. Come on, so they can see exactly I get you there. what you. Yeah, they 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 see exactly yeah. what you're doing, and they just like, oh, you know what? I'm a I'm gonna emulate that. I'm a, even though they may not say it out loud, but they know it. They take heed of they it. Do. Yes. Yes, they do. You think they're not no. paying attention, but they're paying attention. They, kids always. Yes. That's, that's one thing. Parent and parents know this, you know, young parents. Uh, but your kids are always paying attention yep. to you. Yep. Yep. That that's is true. the darn truth. Yep. For 100%. sure. For sure. Man, yeah, yeah. hey, congregation, in the comments, let y'all let, let let us know what y'all think about this whole little situation with this um in this yeah. Georgia high school and and this guy, man. I mean, fourteen year old. What do y'all think about it? What do you think that could be done to prevent it? Do you think we just need to mm. snatch the AR style uh weapons off the market yeah. and that'll stop it? It'll stop mm -hmm. right there. Do you think that that was that's the end all be all and it'll stop? Or do you think that something else has to happen in order for it to stop? And that that, that would be my perspective. That it's it's a mental thing versus a physical thing. That which yes. is a weapon. That's how I feel. Uh, anything yeah. else, bro? No, no. I think we are good on this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, we are praying for the families. Um, we're praying for the safety of all of our kids that's going to school. I mean, now it's from K, pre-K to the 12th grade. And then even in the colleges, sometimes things like this happen. So uh, we just want the safety. But what can be done for the safety of all of these kids? Do they need to have metal detectors in every school now? That's going to be preposterous to me. Mm -hmm. But put in the comments if you think that's the next step. To just ensure it doesn't come on campus. Yeah. Let us know. Let us know, man. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, baby. <laughs> Let's go. For sure. Do something. You know, 
if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 